All right, all right, all right, we back. And now, start clapping right now for Leslie! That's okay. Right there. I know. I'm short. Sure. We can't go too far. You know what I mean? We got Do your thing. all of a sudden. I'm like, you know what? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> That's how life works. What's up, guys? What's up? Hey! 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 All of you look fine. I feel severely underdressed, man. I'm like, I got my sandals on, my toes out and ish. I'm like, but how are you guys? Good. 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 How are you? Yeah. Happy anniversary! Hell yeah! yeah. The balloons say 35 years. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, shit. Yeah. 35 yeah. years. That is beautiful. Like, I can't make a man stay for longer than like six months. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I'm a little aggressive. Like, I am. Like, I'm very direct about that stuff. Like, one time, um, he came home from work. And so did my Chinese food. Mm. <laughs> you know exactly which one I was straight to. <laughs> I was like, I don't have to share you. So yes, let's go. You know? But my friends say I, I need an intervention. You know? So I've got a particular taste like most women, right? Like we like a certain kind of man. Yeah. Not like felons. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh -oh. What? I like my men at large and in charge. Leave <laughs> me alone. I know what I like. I like men with names with potential. Like like names like Tubit and Brown Eye. Cause they'll fuck me like they need a home, bro. <laughs> I like you. But I get myself in trouble sometimes, you know? Like, um, I, I don't really date. I tried it. Went on a date. First one I went on, he cried. Maybe not for me. Do you know what I mean? Like, and I, I don't, I'm not wearing lipstick today, but I usually try to wear a shade of unapproachable. So that way that doesn't happen. Do you know what I mean? So my friend was like, maybe because you're not like, like super friendly, maybe you should try to online dating. And I was like, sure, I'll go for it. Hell yeah. So I, I put my, my profile on there and all that shit, right? And then I put my status as DND. Do not disturb. <laughs> My inbox was <sighs> I had so many messages in there because it said do not disturb, you know? And so apparently in online dating, what that means is try again. <laughs> and uh, the first message that I got, he was like, hey, beautiful. Why do you wear glasses? <laughs> and I was like, because I'm fucking blind. <laughs> and he's like, well, why didn't your last relationship work out? And I was like, well, he told me that he thought that I deserved better. And he was like, really? What did you think? And I was like, I just felt like I didn't just clean these shits. And I just moved the fuck on. Okay, because all I'm saying is if you don't clean your glasses, everybody looks five tequila shots deep and everybody looks good. <laughs> You'll excuse a lot of shit for that. But you know, I knew it was over because I could hear him blinking. Yeah, that's how mad I was. I could hear him blinking. So every time he would blink, I'm like, what is this motherfucker blinking for? Like, what, what does he need to moisten his eyes for? Like, you got some dust in your eye? What? Like, and I don't want you, but you're not going to be dusting your eyes if you're looking at any other bitches. I don't care. We're not doing that today. So... I, I I did um, I did successfully have one baby. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that exciting? 
I've, I have raced her successfully until she's about this tall and she got a big ass mouth. You know what I mean? Because like, as they get older, like they get taller, but the mouth gets bigger. And I don't, I don't understand how that works because like my daughter, she has to be right all the time. She talks shit and I have no idea where she gets it from. But she likes to argue with me. And I don't know if you know how frustrating it is to argue with somebody who doesn't even know the format of arguing yet. That shit's retarded. I get so angry. Like, the other day, she was like, I was told her to put her shoes on so we could go. And she was like, they're not shoes, they're slippers. And I was like, you're getting real sassy to somebody who should have been school yesterday. Mmm. <laughs> Yeah. And, and sometimes what they end up doing is they're like, you know, that's too aggressive. You can't do that to your kids. And I feel like I'm teaching her character. Because there's nothing that she does that a good chunkla can't fix. We all have a chunkla in our own different ways to call it a belt. We call it whatever, but that shit has aim. You about to get all those things. And sometimes, like, I'm trying to get her to understand that she's not in charge and she tries to try to talk back to me, you know? But I figured out a way to solve that. Because as soon as she starts talking smack and she walks by me, I smack her in the face with a pillow. Uh oh. And then when she's like, What the fuck, mom? I'm like, What are you going to do, tell you, mom? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> That's okay. You know, she's getting bigger, so she's asking more questions. I'm a single mom, which means I'm nobody to blame but myself. Um, but, you know, she is, um, she's starting to ask questions about her dad. Not unreasonable, I don't think. That's not unreasonable in any way, right? She asked right. about that. She's like, Mom, I really want to know what it's like to go to the movies with my dad. And I was like, all right, baby, I'll take you. I'll take you. <laughs> So we pulled up to the movie theater and I bought popcorn and I ate all that shit before the preview started. And then I farted and I fell asleep until the credits rolled. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, Mom, this sucks. And I was like, so you're not missing much. It's fine. <laughs> it's good. It's all good. It's all good. And you know, like, my friends and I, we're super close and we try to confide in each other. We try to ask each other, like, Maybe sometimes we're the problem. Okay, I'm a woman. I like to be right. I like to talk shit, just like my kid. Um, you know, she was asking me, she's like, why don't any of my relationships work? I don't understand what I'm doing wrong. And I was like, well, maybe you should stop dating homeless women with big noses. That would, that would definitely help. And she was like, you have no business saying that because... You like felons. And I was like, first of all, we live in Colorado Springs, so there's not very many options, okay? We've got jugglers, we got felons, and we got military men, okay? The flavors are not abundant, but either way, it doesn't matter, okay? You know, either way, we're going to end up divorced, you know? And um, my brother, though, he, he just got married again. Be excited for him. Yes! All right. Yay! There you go. And you know, being my older brother, he and I are constantly in competition, you know? And he always tries to say that he's happier than me. And I'm like, that's not fucking true. I've never been married. <laughs> I love myself, okay? We try to do things for self-care, you know what I mean? We really try to. But gentlemen, this, this, um, this mama's boy thing is getting out of control. Okay, and the reason why I say that is because the other day when I was going to run errands, I saw this homeless man sitting on the street. He looked very upset, the distraught. I had a lot of sympathy for him. But then I drove a little farther and I saw his mom holding his sign and panhandling for him. Mm. Okay, and if you're not going to believe in your son's dreams, okay, just say so. There's no reason for you to be holding the sign for him. How is he going to find a wife that way? Is she just going to like come on the side of the street and be like, you know what, your mom does everything for you. Our rent is taken care of. Fuck this. We're done. <laughs> that is my husband. 
No, we don't do that. We don't do that. But no, we're all consenting adults. We're all adults. It is Wednesday, so I hope all of you can, can you know, hunt consensually. Every single one of you gets humped consensually. But I really feel like we need to be a little bit more straightforward with our fetishes. Do you know what I mean? Okay. Like, um, one time I was with a dude and he gave me the look. You know the look. You know the look when he's like, you know, you know the look, right? He, he gave me one of those and I was like. <laughs> so, you know, I'm all excited. We got to it. And then he flipped me around. He started aggressively fucking my feet. Uh-oh. And I am not saying there's anything wrong with foot fetishes. But all I'm saying is you gotta warn a bitch first, okay? I was not prepared for that kind of aggression. I didn't know that that's where we were in the relationship. We had just met each other not too long ago. Okay? You gotta warn me before you get me into freaky shit like that. Now, if you tie me up, then that's totally normal. You can't be doing shit like that. <sighs> but, you know, I come from a big family. I'm one of nine, you know, and we're all adopted and everybody's always like, oh, your mom was busy. And I'm like, you're disgusting. <laughs> but, you know, um, I only have one because I know what addiction looks like. So <laughs> I'm not planning on having any more. But, you know, I, I seriously thought about it, though, when I started seeing those stimulus checks. <laughs> <laughs> I saw how much those were and I was like you know what one or two more might not be a bad idea but it's alright because I teach my daughter the most important lesson in all of life okay? and that is that she's returnable mm -mm. Okay? you need to remind your children that they're returnable because as a child who was purchased okay calm down I was adopted but as a child who was purchased, I understand the value of life, okay? Because there was nothing more savage than seeing two adopted car salesmen trying to tell you that you shouldn't have this kid. We were like, um, you don't want him. He got two left legs and that's not good. And you don't want her because she got an attitude and that's bad for the home equity. So you just do not want her. You don't want any of these babies at all. We we're trying to sell each other for no fucking reason. But there's a lot of incredibly important, you know, like decisions that you have to make when you're adopting a kid. Like, you have to decide color. You have to decide whether or not it's you or news, you know. And you have to decide whether or not it's foreign or domestic. So it's based on your buying a used car. All you have to decide is whether or not you're going you're gonna to beat it. Pretty much it. I thought that was funny. <laughs> Not a <beauty> though! <laughs> I'm just saying it's a standard, you know? It's a standard. But I do enjoy spending time with my daughter because all we get to do is like build Legos and we get to like make bed pies and we, end up, like, we go to the park and I can't tell if I'm really digging being a parent or if the cocaine's working. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I'm a comic. I'm way too cheap to do cocaine. <laughs> um, you know, but I really wish people would offer me more nefarious drugs. I really do. I know look, I, I look like I'm about to run some errands. But I want to meet God, too. Okay? All these white people are talking about how they meet God when they do all these drugs. And I'm like, I have a couple of questions that praying is not working with, okay? I have a couple of things that I would like to know. I'm not trying to be pushy, but you made me assertive, okay? So, what the fuck? And then I got a little racist, and I was like, how you gonna manifest yourself only to white people? Was slavery not enough of a test of my faith? What the fuck? We need something else. But now... I get called demanding all the time because I have standards. Like, gentlemen, um, if you are interested, all I need from you, okay, is for you to shower regularly, for you to um, have a driver's license, and if you can give me a half a good gangsta lean, I will be in the back 
waiting all of your solicitations because I have nothing else to do. <laughs> but either way, with your laughter and your silence, I do appreciate it. Like I said, I have a seven year old, so the silent parts are the most silence I'm going to get all night. So I appreciate you very much. Thank you for sharing some of your Wednesday with me. My name is Leslie. Good night. She did it.